Hello everyone and welcome to Anderson, Indiana. We're inside championship lanes for the Bob Worman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Finals. Hello everyone, I'm Scott Gilmore and today's show will be all about singles. We've got the finalists in girls and the finalists in boys and we're going to find out who's going to win the single state championship. Joining me in this broadcast is not only a former singles champion here for the state, but he's also newly crowned PBA Rookie of the Year, Matt Sanders. And Matt, we expect some good scoring. We saw some good scoring in qualifying. But what's going through these players' minds as they are about to partake in one of the biggest events of their young career? Uh, it's definitely going to be something different. I mean, they've worked for the past three weeks to get to this point, so I think they're just going to have to take it one side at a time, stay slow, and just uh, do what they know how to do. And uh, hopefully it all fall for them. All right, we're just not that, not that far away from crowning a state champion in both the boys and the girls here on Savage Bowling TV. We'll be back for more with the Bob Rama Subaru Indian High School Bowling State Championships. As the jury reached the verdict, they have, Your Honor. Beyond a reasonable doubt, Bob Rama Subaru has great new car deals. Case dismissed. Get a sign and drive lease on Subaru Impreza 2.0i for just $219 a month for 42 months with zero do it inception. Buy a Subaru and keep Lafayette driving. Bob Roman Subaru, 1600 South Creasy Lane, Lafayette. Hello everyone, welcome back to Championship Lanes in Anderson, Indiana for the Bob Worman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Championships. Matt Sanders again with me here. And Matt, uh, we're just about to get things underway here for our singles portion of today's broadcast. We'll have the team event portion later on this afternoon. And uh, Matt, uh, again, uh, now it's crunch time. The, the players have gotten through qualifying and we have our four competitors. And uh, you've been here before again. And uh, what's going through these players' minds? Uh, I think the biggest thing is the pre-shot routine. That was one thing I focused on when I was pulling in this situation. Uh, at this point, I think these bowlers know what they have to do to advance, so they just focus on their pre-shot routine and try to stay slow and make their shots, and hopefully they all fall. Well, they're uh, just uh, players three and four on each, both the boys and girls' sides are getting their practice in. They get four shots on each lane, and, uh, um, you know, what, what as a player, a successful player you are now, what's the hardest part? Is it the qualifying, or is it this portion here when you're down to one match at a time? Uh, it, it's... It depends. I, I mean, qualifying. Some some people struggle to find that what that I guess aggressiveness in qualifying because they they feel like they're just cruising. I think that I I've fallen into that several times. But I feel like match play, step ladder. I mean, you're you're focused. You're ready to go. So it's hard to separate those two at some point. Yeah, I feel like sometimes uh, even as a competitor myself. Um, we're posting a score, mm -hmm. right? So you're really seeing what's the cut number and you're trying to bowl to that number, right? Whereas now you're bowling one person. Yep. So it's a little bit different uh, feeling about that. And uh, I know, uh, still, it's a state champion. There's, It's a prestigious award. Definitely, for sure. Um, I'm sure we'll have an exciting step ladder and I'm uh, ready to see some good action. All right, when we come back from this short time out, we're gonna have player introductions and get our first match underway for the Bob Warren Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Finals here on Savage Bowling TV. We'll be back right after this. As the jury reached the verdict, they have your honor. Beyond a reasonable doubt, Bob Warren Subaru has great new car deals. Case dismissed. Lisa 2018 Subaru Outback 2.5i for just $2.59 a month for 36 months with $17.59 due at inception. Buy a Subaru and keep Lafayette driving. Bob Roman Subaru, 1600 South Creasy Lane, Lafayette. All right, welcome back to Anderson, Indiana here at Championship Lanes for the Bob Roman Subaru. Indiana High School Bowling State Finals. Singles portion just about to get underway. Let's kick it lane side to Ski Anderson for player introductions. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. We're glad you're here at Championship Lanes. We have eight finalists, four for the girls, four for the boys to be Indiana singles champions. And let's introduce them to you now. First up, for the ladies in the number fourth seed from Franklin Central, excuse me, Madison Morello. Come on up, Madison. In the third seat for the ladies, it's Michaela Hemden from Portage. In the second seed 
from Hamilton Heights, Keegan Trexler. And in our number one seed for the ladies today, from Elkhart Central, Katie Frazier. And for the gentlemen competing in our contest today, qualified in the fourth seed, from Noblesville, Nathan Smith. In the third seed today, from Homestead, it's Lance Williams. Coming in in the number two seed from Warren Central, LaVon Hampton. And your number one seed for the boys today, from Muncie Central, Scotty Kramer III. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this, one of these folks is going to be a state champion on this side and this side. These are your finalists for the Indiana Singles High School Bowling Championships. Let's hear it one more time. <laughs> Scotty, back to you. All right. Thanks, Ski. Well done. And, uh, Matt, here we are. We're at the moment of the hour right now. We're about to find out. Again, match number one here on both the boys and the girls' side. They're going to be bowling simultaneously. And uh, we're going to have Madison Morello, the fourth seed, against Michaela Hemden, the third seed. And then on 9 and 10, Nathan Smith, the fourth seed, versus Lance Williams, the third seed. And it uh, looks like Madison Morello is going to lead things off for us. And, uh, Matt, you know a little bit more about Madison here? Uh, looks like she's been bowling for 12 years. High game of 288. Let's see. Second or or second. Yeah! Fifth of the regional, sixth at semi-state, and advanced to the stepladder at state today. So we'll see how she finishes. Well, she started off with a great strike, tripped the six pin, or excuse me, four pin late there, and uh, just the kind of start you're wanting. And now, quickly here on lane number nine is Lance Williams, the three seed of the boys. Whoa, great first shot! <laughs> Boy, he got a handful yeah, of that one. All right, our first frame sponsor is brought to you by Huntington University. Wishing good luck to all bowlers and teams participating in the Bob Worman Subaru Indiana State Finals. For more information, visit Huntington.edu. And also Storm, the bowler's company. Check out the new drive at StormBowling.com. And then quickly, a Michaela right back with the strike. I think we're going to see a lot of strikes here, Matt. Scores were not super high, but they were real close. But, uh, you know, a couple 700s at the top. I think we're going to see some pretty good scoring here. Yeah, for sure. See Nathan up on lane 10. Two-handed lefty. Ooh, ball that strikes the start. That ball just kind of sat right up there. Yeah. Finished first at Semi State last weekend. Okay, Michaela now up on lane number seven of our championship pair. Girls on seven and eight, boys on nine and ten, and that comes in light, leaves a four pin. And the first non-strike of the morning. Welcome everyone to Savage Bowling TV. And if you're watching on IndianaHighSchoolBowling.com, Scott Gilmore here, Matt Sanders. Matt Sanders, you know, you might know him. PBA Tour Rookie of the Year, just named not that long ago. And here's Nathan on the left lane. Ooh, comes in light, leaves the bucket. It's like a little fast there. Can't tell. Is he throwing your thing? It looked the way the ball motion was, Matt. Looked like it was. It sure did. Because the ball just laid right there as it got down past the spot. Good spare there for Michaela. We're excited to bring you once again the Indiana High School Bowling State Finals. We are so thankful for. Bob Rorman Subaru, built local, buy local, buy Subaru, and keep Indiana driving. I want to thank Bob Rorman Subaru once again for stepping up and bringing you, helping us bring you the live action here from Championship Lanes. And here's Madison Morello now on the right lane. That comes in light, leaves a two pin. So far, great spare there by Nathan. No, never want to have to try to pick the bucket up. <laughs> that that and the uh, well two four seven eight for lefty and three six nine ten for the righty. Those are two I think of the toughest bears. Even doesn't doesn't seem like it, but they are, have to be some of the toughest bears out there. 
Well, you know, we're going to do some different things here. We're going to be on social media too as well. Matt, you want to share how they can get with us and maybe ask some questions? And who knows, if we pick a question out, maybe we'll send them a little uh, track prize pack. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you can either, let's see, you can tweet me at Sanders and Manders, or you can go to my Facebook page, I believe. I just posted a second ago. Uh, it should be at Matt Sanders PVA. I asked if anybody would have any questions. So if you want to ask us some questions there, we'll be more than happy to answer them. Well, there you have it. Sanders the Manders. That's with a Z, right? Yeah, Zs. It's the only yeah. way I can get to fit in Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's uh, Madison now on the left lane. Nice Good high shot. flush strike. She starts out, strike, spare, strike. Michaela starts out, strike, spare. And now Lance on lane nine, working on a spare third frame. That one leaked a little right. Didn't want to make the turn. He's got a difficult spare. Yeah, it looks like the two, four, five, seven. Looks like everybody might have got a little pumped up on their second shots. Everybody struck there. They all came came a little quick on those second shots. Well, you know, let's let's go to your experiences. You know, you recently just bowled on TV for the World Championships. I mean, what's going through your mind at that point? Don't throw it in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our first, <laughs> our first open there. The frame as Lance just picks off the five pin. Um, well, you, you know, it, isn't it? You get to a certain point, you, you have to manage your adrenaline, the heart rate, you know, and and try to stay in the moment as far as one frame at a time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, I've I've spent years trying to get to that point, so I I knew what I needed to do. But after that, I I knew I had to get past the nerves. I mean, that, I'm there to win, just like these kids are here to win today. So they know what they, know what they have to do. So take their time, try to calm themselves. Well, Nathan there with a light mixer on lane 10 for a strike. Pulling out his best Jesper Svensson imitation, throwing looks like what we think is urethane. I'm not exactly sure, but it's not reacting like reactive resin. But it it could be. I don't know. You know, a lot of times these two-handers put a unique role on the ball that the ball sometimes doesn't always react as what maybe another type of player yeah, it throws. Almost, it looks shiny when he's wiping it off. It might be a pitch blue, it looks like. He leaves a uh, thing. flat seven pin there. Good spare there on the four pin by Michaela. So really right now the girls are all even. Yep. And... Nathan makes this spare, and he'll have a 17-pin lead after three frames over Lance Williams. There and you go. Good spare there. You know, one thing, you know, we bowled the state, Indiana State Masters here in this house last weekend, and, uh, you know, even on spare attempts, you know, the pins fly around in here. There's some chances that a split could be made here today. For sure. I saw a lot of pins bounce out the back of the, back of the deck last week. Some crazy things could happen if we see some... Nasty splits left today. Well, as there is uh, Madison comes in a little bit high and leaves the 3 6 10. And now here's Lance Williams on the right lane. He comes in high. Ooh, almost caught a great break. Just leaves the three pin. Lance has an interesting style. I don't know if you notice, he's two handed when he goes back. He kind of takes his left hand off early and shovels it in front of him. Oh, Madison chops. The three six off the ten, and she has an open frame in the fourth, and a twelve pin lead now for Michaela after four frames. Good spare there by Lance, and uh, you know Matt, channeling your experiences bowling in a lot of matches. You know, are, as a player, are you? Are you looking for an advantage, or are you trying to slow the match down? What What are things that you can do to kind of make? Because in a one game match, it goes by fast. It definitely does. Uh, I don't really look for anything. I've, I, some of the best advice I've had told to me plenty of times: do what you know to do. Basically, I mean, don't worry about anything else. Like they shouldn't worry about their opponents. Watch what the lanes are doing, but don't worry about what they're doing. Do everything you can possibly do, and that's that's how it's going to go. 
as Lance leaves a five pin there on lane nine. And now Madison going for the spare. That needs to hook, and it does. Came back. So we're going to bring you all three matches here for the singles portion, and then we'll take a several hour break as qualifying for team event takes place right around two o'clock. We're hoping to be back on the air around 5 p.m. for the team portion. We'll do the semifinals and the final match on each of these two pairs as well. And uh, gonna be pretty cool. By the end of the day, we'll have a boys and girls singles champion crowned and boys and girls team. Nice light, light mixer, mixer there. I would, you looked at the pattern a little bit. Obviously, you looked at it because you threw out the first ball and you didn't want to. You didn't want to go five count or whatever. What do you What are you seeing when you look at this pattern they put out today? Uh, it's, I, I don't don't remember the length. Uh, it didn't look kind of looked like a medium scoring pattern. Nothing super hard. Nothing super easy. That I think the scores kind of showed that too. Yeah, as it took uh, what was it like six eighty to make the top four for the boys. Um, and then still it took uh, Low 600s, I yeah, believe, for the like girls. in the 610 range yeah. somewhere, I believe, for the girls to make it. So in previous years, they've put out a little bit harder of a pattern mm -hmm. and uh, scores were even lower. I prefer a medium to medium high scoring pattern because I think it adds more excitement. Um, I don't think people want to watch their kids shooting seven spares all day, you know. Yeah, for That sure. ball needs to hook. And, but, you know, again, you watch that reaction there, and I know he's probably looks like throwing your thing, but they don't have just whatever room they want left or right. Definitely don't. Uh, oh, oh. Michaela misses the 3-6, and she has an open in the 6, letting Michaela right, or excuse me, Madison right back in it. Now, Lan or excuse me, uh, Nathan Smith here trying to pick up the 3-pin to stay clean in his match. He has an 18-pin lead over Lance Williams, and he makes that. Took care of that. I really thought, you know, going into this, based on what we saw, I, I really thought, you know, if I'm a player, do you, when you're looking at your match, okay, I got to shoot, I feel like I got to shoot this to win. Is there a number in your mind that you think, hey, if I'm, before this go, before this show starts, if I shoot this every game, I got a good chance? It's hard not to think that way, but like I said, you have to do what, whatever you can give the lane. That's that's what you're going to give to it. Um, I, I mean, I went in. You, if you bowl several games of qualifying, you can kind of know like what score. I barely got the five out. What's the seven pin for Lance? Um, but yeah, sometimes you can you kind of figure a score that you might need, but then also that your opponent can shoot anything against you, so it may not be what you think it is. All right, uh, Royal Penn Entertainment wants to congratulate all the Indian High School Bowling State finalists and Ebonite would like to congratulate all the state finalists too and check out the all-new GB3 and the Verdict Pearl at ebonite.com. You're watching the 2018 Bob Rorman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Championships are on Savage Bowling TV and indianahighschoolbowling.com. Scott Gilmore, Matt Sanders here bringing you all the action this morning here for the singles portion. And uh, want to also send out Old National Insurance. For all your insurance needs, call Doug Dreher at 812-478-6044. And also Motive Bowling. Check out the all-new Venom Shock Pearl at MotiveBowling.com. All right, here we are, seventh frame in both matches. Madison now shooting at a 10-pin. And Lance up on the left lane, lane nine, working on a spare. Oof, Ooh. that is not what he needed, the four, six, seven. Boy, when each player started out with a strike, I thought, man, we might see 220, 230 a clip here, and Madison missed that spare. Now she's got back-to-back -back nine misses. Several misses here, gonna be trying their patience here at the end of the game. Well, as you know, you know, Matt, spares are everything. And they sure are. You, you, you just can't give your opponent an opening. And now both Nathan, or both Lance Williams and Madison Morello do that for their opponents. And now here's Michaela up in the seventh frame. She's working on an open herself. That one misses That's right. Back. She leaves what they call the rail. <laughs> and the rail is not an easy spare. Anything with multiple pins is not. Definitely not. All right, Nathan Smith here, seventh frame, lane 10, working on a spare himself. Gotta get through it. Mm. 
He's been close. Yeah, he's Matt. been close, that's for sure. And maybe the key, too. He may be trying to just advance to the next match. Now, you have some experience. Good spare there by Michaela. You have some experience bowling a left-hander throwing urethane. Tell the, the, the viewers out there, what does a urethane bowl actually do to a pair? Urethane, oh, it's gonna, um, urethane can be tricky. Um, the carry down that you get from urethane, the oil down lane, can make a pair unbelievably difficult, especially if you don't pay attention to that pair bef before you go to it. You might not see your ball hook down lane, and you're wondering why you don't realize it until after you've bowled the game that somebody was throwing your thing before you. Uh, it, it can make it tough, and it can also burn up the front of the pattern depending on the person's rev rate and ball speed and anything where they're playing at. It, uh, it, can, it can make it very difficult. One, two, four here on the left lane for Michaela. Oh, and he gets a light mixer. I like his uh, kind of comments over here. It says, well, what's that? It says, to understand what it means to win, you have to learn to lose. I like that. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a, a good attitude. You always got to learn. You know, every experience is a learning experience, right? For sure. Yeah. And I don't care how old you are. Um, you never win enough. <laughs> you lose Wish. more often than you win, right? Yeah. <laughs> Except for if you're Jason Belmonte <laughs> yeah. and Jesper Spencer. Yeah, you know? it looks like he's a favorite pro of just about everybody on these sheets right now. Is Belmo's no, there's no Matt Sanders no, listed? No, there's no Matt Sanders. What? Uh, man. man, and you even autographed Maybe. a ball and gave away today. Someday. Someday. Speaking of... Uh, uh, don't want to talk too much about certain things, but I, I would like to get your opinion here as uh, Track has unveiled the Elias, or Alias, excuse me. Uh, give us a little feedback from what you've seen so far. Uh, it looks really good. I haven't been able to throw it very much because I just drove mine the other day. Um, I'm actually looking to throw it the next few weeks on tour. Um, I don't throw very too many strong bowling balls. I, uh, I have a decent rev rate. I throw a lot of shiny stuff to get the ball down the lane, especially on house shots when I'm bowling league. But uh, I, I'm looking forward to throwing it on some oil. But I, I love what they're doing, how you can drill it symmetric and asymmetric. It, it looks like a great ball. Uh, when's the release? Is that already released yet, or is it, is it next week? Uh, that's a good question. We should know that, shouldn't we? Yeah, we, we? should know that. <laughs> I, I anyway. feel like it was released. Or it might. Yeah, I think it's released. Yeah, go on track.com. Is it trackbowling.com? Yep. And check out all about the new alias from track. Um, interesting how you can you can drill a ball both asym and symmetrical. Uh, we won't get all into that. That's a whole nother show and a whole nother explanation, right? Um, nice strike there by Lance Williams uh, as we're getting into the end of the first game here, the first match. Madison with a strike in the eighth ninth, really putting some pressure now on Michaela. Oh, oh. she comes in light, oh, shot. knocks the five out, and uh, we do have one question, Scott. Oh, we do. Who's Brooklyn. it from? Brooklyn says, how do you get your nerves to not mess up your game when you're in the type of situation? Go ahead. How do you get your nerves? That is, uh, that is a very good question because it is hard not to think of the situation that you're in when you're trying to win. Um, it, it honestly just goes back to what I've said several times already. I mean, I, when you're in this situation, you probably know what you need to do, what your strengths are. You've already bowled qualifying. You've gotten to this point. You just have to tell yourself that you are here to win, and you have to stay calm, take your time, keep your feet slow, and uh, just don't worry about the result. You have to do the things in front of you to get the best result you can. All right. Uh, quickly here on the girls' match here, Michaela shooting at the 3, 6, 10, and she oh, gets a good break there. If she strikes, she shoots 183. That's going to force Madison to get the first one in the tenth and a nine count spare to win. So we got a great finish here to the girls. Nathan just needs to get good pin count here. Looks good. And he strikes and he'll advance over uh, Lance Williams. But here's a big shot, Matt, here for Michaela Hemden on the left lane. Looks good off her hand. Definitely. Oh, that was a great shot. Hi, flush. Michaela from Portage. Let's learn a little bit more about Michaela here. What do we have? Favorite bowler? Is it is it Matt? She doesn't have one. Oh, she doesn't have one. Uh, oh, let me write my name in. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Matt Sanders is now her favorite bowler. <laughs> uh, little does she know. She's going to have... We'll, we'll give this to her. We'll give that That's to like her. an autograph. There we go. Um, <clears throat> that could be worth some money here in about... Yeah five or six years, right? We'll see. 
That's about how much it's going to take you to get four or five majors under your belt. All right. Now, big shot from Madison here. First ball in the tent. She needs That's a strike. Good. Oh, shot. what a shot. shot. Looks like these girls know how to handle the nerves. That's for I'm, sure. She goes nine miss, nine miss, and somehow Comes throws back. a three-bagger. Right and she back. could find herself right now with a nine spare. She would advance. It's like Nathan. really starting to figure it out. Very finish for that game. Nathan shoots 209. He'll advance. Most that uh, Lance Williams can get is 175. Here's the shot. Uh oh. That's got a right. hook. That's got a hook. That's got a hook. She needs to make this spare, man, I think. I think she's got to make this to tie. Yes, she does. She's got to make it. If she would have got a nine on her first ball, it wouldn't have mattered if she made it or not no. to, to at least tie. She would have had to make it to win. Um, she's got to make this spare to tie the match. That's got to hook a lot. Oh. And she doesn't make it. She doesn't convert. And Michaela Hemden will advance over Madison Morello, 183 to 182. A good run there for Madison. And Lance will look to... Make this good showing for both Madison and Lance Williams, and uh, uh, they will advance to match number two. We've had some really good singles matches here from uh, past years, and this one is starting off just the same way with a one-pin win here for... Michaela, and now Lance going to finish out his fill ball and then we'll get the next competitors up and he strikes good showing there for Lance Williams nothing to hang your head on Matt making the top four these kids bowl a lot of bowling to get to this point definitely they've uh, survived what that be three weeks to get to this point it's on the best bowlers in the state all righty our first match is completed Nathan Smith on the boys side defeats Lance Williams 209 to 155 and Michaela Hemden defeats Madison Morello 183 to 182 you're listening or I'm watching excuse me the Bob Roman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Finals on Savage Bowling TV and IndianaHighSchoolBowling.com we'll be back for match number two right after this short timeout as the jury reached the verdict they have your honor Beyond a reasonable doubt, Bob Roman Subaru has great new car deals. Haste dismissed. Get a sign and drive lease on Subaru Impreza 2.0i for just $219 a month for 42 months with zero do it inception. Buy a Subaru and keep Lafayette driving. Bob Roman Subaru, 1600 South Treaty Lane, Lafayette. All right, you're watching the Bob Rorman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Finals. This is the singles portion of our live stream today here at Championship Lanes in Anderson, Indiana. Buy local or built local, buy local, buy Subaru and keep Indiana driving. I want to thank Bob Rorman Subaru for their contributions for today's broadcast too as well. Also brought to you by Strike and Spare Family Fun Center in Clarksville. Wishing all the state finalists the best of luck. And Brunswick. Visit them online at bowlwithbrunswick.com. And we have our competitors underway. In match number two, we're going to have the number four seed, Nathan Smith, will take on number two seed, LaVon Hampton. And LaVon, Matt, in qualifying round, or his first game, almost shot a 300 game, had the front nine and left a solid 10 pin. Yeah, he, uh, what was his qualifying score? He had 300, and, or 7-0. Well, 7 yeah, he shot 278 game one. And um, then we have... Number three seed, Michaela Hemden, will take on number two seed, Keegan Trexler. And Michaela will start off the match here on the left lane. She comes in light and leads the 2-4-5. And now our first look at LaVon Hampton here on the left lane. Matt, give us a little rundown on LaVon. Looks like LaVon finished second in a sectional. Fourth is regional and third is semi-state. Favorite bowler is Belmo. Not surprised. Mm, good shot. Mm. Yeah, that kid throws it good. Bowling for 15 years. 
15 years and he's what? Yep. 16 or 17? He's a senior. Yep, senior. 18. And Michaela, she picks the four pin off, or excuse me, the six pin off. No, I was right, the four pin. I was always seem to look at this from the right side. I'm a left-hander by nature. Both of us are. We're both left-handers. That's why this whole broadcast yeah, is probably this whole broadcast is backwards, isn't it? <laughs> they're probably hating us right now. Right. <laughs> All right, here's Nathan Smith on the right lane, lane 10. First shot of match number two. That's close. That's oh, a good shot. High flush. He I tell you right he now. finished that first game strong. I like his chances. Well, Keegan Trexler, our first look at Keegan on lane eight. Give us a little bit more on her. She's been bowling for 14 years. She's uh, only a junior. Hmm. Average 203. High game of 299. Oh, good shot. Solid 10 10. Shot. Now, is. Her sister bowl for Marion, right? Yeah, I believe uh, Aubrey bowls for Marion. Yeah. I know you're from, you know, you were a All-American at uh, Marion University. Another good shot. High flush, and I, you know, I really got to, you know, I watched LeVon Le Le throw some shots in qualifying, and I thought, you know what? He's going to make somebody bowl a really good game. That ball needs to hook, and she misses the 10 pin. If you're going to open. First frame. It's the, that's First the frame, frame to do it in there. Everybody says. You can still shoot 279 with mm -hmm. an open. Now LeVon Hampton working on a strike. Frame number two, lane 10. Comes in high. He's got quite the fan base behind he us. He does, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh. He has a, some serious rev rate compared to Nathan, it looks like. <coughs> well, Nathan could have some. It's hard to tell with that ball he's throwing. LeVon definitely has some power to his game. Another 10 pin there for Keegan. Also brought to you by, today's action brought to you by the Trophy House. Make your event stand out even more with a trophy from the Trophy House. The proud supplier of Indiana High School Bowling Awards and 900 Global. Performance your game at 900global.com. It's got a hook, too. Oh. And it Hang does. Back. Okay, now Keegan here, picking up, looking to pick up her 10 pin. She opened, missed one in the first frame. She's looking to make it now here in the second. And that, that one that looked one. better. Yeah. I, I'm still stunned that we do not see a Matt Sanders, but we do have one. Uh, luckily, Michaela Hemden stood up for you. She does now. <laughs> So, you know, tell us a little bit about what you did here this morning. You donated an autographed ball. What, what was that all about? Uh, I donated a autographed Paradox Black. I actually, it was one I used uh, in Reno. And they uh, raffled it off, I believe, for some scholarship money um, for the association. All right. Uh, Michaela there comes in light, leaves just the... Two pin. And now LaVon Hampton here on the left lane, lane nine, third friend. Working on a spare. He comes in high once again and leaving the 6'10". Six six ten. He looks a little tight to me. Yes, he does. He pulled a couple of shots. Uh, probably just feeling the nerves like we talked about earlier. Take um, his time. Slow down. We did have one question. Tell them how they can uh, get on the broadcast today. As Michaela misses the two pin. Where do they need to send questions at for you? Uh, you can either at my Twitter at Sanders Demanders, or um, I believe I posted on my Facebook page. You search uh, at Matt Sanders PBA and ask us uh, some questions for the broadcast today. Yeah, if we uh, read off your uh, question, um, we'll draw one lucky fan and uh, we'll contact you back. Matt will, and we'll send you a little track prize pack, courtesy of Track Bowling and. This guy over here to my right, Matt Sanders. All right. Third frame for Nathan here. Working on a double. Little left. Oh. Got the 10 out. It seems like, to me, Matt, he's able to lean up on the oil a little bit. Definitely. He's uh, He's got a worker right now. He's also, I like how aggressive he is. I think he's... I think he's in his little zone here. I said I liked his chances last game. I think he's uh, got a good chance to keep it going. 
no offense, but you know he reminds me. I'm not from style or anything, oh, but we go. He, he, rem <laughs> he reminds me of E.J. Tackett at about 98 pounds soaking wet <laughs> and, you know, rips the cover off the ball. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> oh, I tell you. Oh, uh -oh. off a little bit. Can I get back? Yeah, and he's going to come that in nine. light. Yep. I would take that nine. That's a good nine count all day. Just the five pin. That's an easy spare. You can't get anything more in the middle than the five pin. Now Keegan look, working on a spare here in the third frame. It's a little better. Oh, she leaves 10 pin, 10 pin, and now leaves a little high four pin. She's got a small 11 pin lead here after two complete frames, looking to keep that at 11. Now Nathan looking at the spare here after starting with the front three. Taken care of. All right, so what's up with you um, after today's broadcast? You're heading over to the TOC, is that right? Yeah, I... Uh I will probably head out Monday to, uh, I believe it's by Akron, Ohio, for the uh, TOC next week. A big month ahead. Well, that did you earn that spot from winning your uh, one tour title this past season, correct? Yeah, it was from my uh, the plastic ball championship that I won. I, I couldn't believe the scoring TOC. for that. Yeah, it was different. It was, it, was, uh, it seemed insane. It was, uh, I've thrown my fastball a couple times on a house shot, but they had a special, it was a short, low-volume shot for that, and it kind of reminded me of your thing. It's probably why I liked it so much, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was different. Oh, Brooklyn strike there for LeVon. He, he does. He's just got to relax yep. a little bit here. It's a little quick, a little tight. Well, we appreciate you taking the time. Uh, well, excited reaction there from Keegan on the trip four. But we appreciate you taking the time to join us this afternoon for uh, the Bob Orman Subaru Indian High School Bowling State Finals. And uh, appreciate your knowledge and time. And uh, we hope you, uh, you feel the same way about checking out uh, something that you've been a part of in, in your young days, bowling high school. For sure. I appreciate it. This is the first time I've been uh, to any sort of high school match probably. I think I've been to one after I graduated, but it's it's been a while. This is this is pretty cool to see. It's a little better. Ah, uh, comes in, leaves a flat ten. He needed that one yeah. to kind of claw his way back into this match. And now Michaela working on a spare in the third, fourth frame. Oh, a light mixer, a light going. mixer. And I'm telling you right now, we got a good crowd of people behind us here for. The broadcast, and uh, I'm sure Matt, you'll be signing autographs again after we're done. <laughs> you know they don't realize how good you are, though. I I, I know you want to stay level-headed, but you know you you've actually done what most kids want to do, right? You you take your high school success, you go on to college, right? You successful in college, and then you go on and bowl on the professional level. And uh, a lot of these kids are aspiring to do the same thing. For sure, uh, going from high school college to pros all of it's different i mean there, there's parts that relate a lot but it's it's a different animal every time it's it's unbelievable you go team bowling you have individual and team you have team in college and then there's a lot of pr I, I felt a lot of pressure in college it's it's uh i put a lot of pressure on myself just for myself on the on the pba because i know what i'm capable of to have my team behind me it, it's it can be difficult at times but uh it, it's it's fun being in the team atmosphere um as well as the individual atmosphere. It's, it's bowling off for so many venues to to win. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool to see. All right. Uh, here we are through five frames for Michaela. She's got a spare in the fifth. She's got 57 in the fourth. Keegan has 37 in the third with a strike in the fourth. She can take a 10-pin lead here in the fourth frame with a strike. Now Nathan Smith. Six frame working on a strike in the Another fifth. Good shot. Oh, shot. double for him. He's got a great look right now, Matt. We have another question from uh -oh. Evan. Okay. Mentioned carry down earlier, but what kind of adjustments would you make bowling on a lane that you know has your thing carry down? Well, that's a great question. It is a great question. It depends on what line you are throwing and what ball you're throwing. Because usually in the case of carry down, I am also throwing urethane. If I am also throwing urethane, I will probably move closer to the carry down so I can have some hold. If I'm not throwing the urethane and I'm throwing a reactive ball, then you either need to go something stronger to uh, keep reading the lane, or uh, you may have to, again, move towards the carry down so you can use that carry down as hold to your advantage. All right, great answer there, Matt, because, you know, urethane is more and more in play 
uh, every every tournament you go to, you see more and more kids and guys throwing urethane as Keegan's looking to make the spare. She does. Um, we got a tie game here for the girls after four frames. Uh, Levon is uh, down about 32 pins. He needs to convert the spare to kind of stay close. But, you know, they're making urethane balls so good. I mean, look at Ebonite International with the purple hammer and now the black widow ham uh, hammer that flares like seven inches. I mean, I couldn't believe when I, you know, Gene Perez, you know, who has a, an unreal rev rate, sets it down on the rack after he threw a shot with it. And I counted like seven or eight flare rings. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And uh, it's amazing how more, you're going to see a lot more of it in play. I believe so. It, uh, it, it lets you control the front part of the lane so well compared to some of the resin balls. Um, Depends on what kind of shot you're bowling on. Uh, they put a lot of oil out, you probably won't be able to throw it, but when the shot's there, those are your thing. Those, they Shorter can, patterns? They, they can, yeah, they can They can strike, that's for sure. That needs to hook. Uh-oh, oh, oh got a break to get the 10 pin out and leaves just the 8. I like the little fiery attitude here from Keegan Trexler. Yeah. You know, she really is into her bowling right now, and now Michaela, oh, Oh, almost tripped the seven, but she did knock down the six to only leave the seven. So a one-pin lead right now for Keegan Trexler. Now LeVon Hampton, he'll make the spare in the seventh. And right now, Matt, if you're LeVon, you're thinking, I, I just need a tap or some kind of opening here from Nathan because he right now Mr. Smith's on cruise control. That's for sure. Uh, He's, it, for two frames, it seemed like he calmed down. That one, he got a little fast again. Well, it's uh, probably just, honestly, it might be overcompensating. He tugged a few shots earlier. Probably threw the last few a little a little quicker because he knew he tugged the last few. So That looks good, too. Oh, man. Lined up. I'm telling you right now. A little mini EJ Jesper. <laughs> He, taking care of it right now. No offense. I, 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 I would love to know if EJ is watching us. It would be great. He's already over probably at the TOC, but <laughs> this kid, I mean, th these two have a lot in common. They, they, they weigh about the same. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you know, when I first saw EJ Tackett throw the ball, I thought, what's this kid going to do? I mean, he weighed about 106 pounds yep. and absolutely just ripped the grips out of the ball. Yep. It's uh, it's all about that timing. It's it's all, everything he does with his, from his arm, his wrist. It's timing. It's it's you it just all. It's it's basically perfect for what he needs to do. Obviously, it's uh, allows him to have that that rotation, the rev rate, all of it. He can stay aggressive. He can slow it down. He can do it all with with how his game is. Yeah, and you just don't. You can't teach that. That that's just natural ability. You just naturally get that. You just can't teach someone how to release a ball like that. Good spare there by Nathan, and a good spare by Michaela. So Keegan Trexler looking to take a 12-pin lead here. Gotta get up a little bit. There oh, that's high flush. She made a ball change there, Matt. Yes, she did. And that ball's finishing high flush. The last one kind of labored a little bit down lane, and she was leaving some flat corner pins. And, and uh, she's got a good look now and has a 12-pin lead. Looking to build that to 22 here in the eighth frame with another strike. And Levon, he's in a must-strike situation. It's a little better. I don't know what ball he's using, Matt, but you, you, you feel like the way he really gets on it, the ball's just going to really come off the corner, and it just kind of, you it's know, kinda, it, it rolls out. Not rolls out, but smoother, it, it looks yes, like. Yes, very controllable down lane. Now Keegan, that comes in high. Fortunate just to leave the three pin. Look, we have one more question. What's harder, bowling for a state championship or bowling for a PBA title? Well, Ooh, I, wouldn't have, I would not know any of that. I've done neither. Tell them, they, tell them pro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really both of those, I feel like I was kind of in the same position. Um, I feel like any time I've ever gotten to a title match, I've never really been the favorite. Uh, that's going to change someday. Maybe someday, yeah. But uh, it, it, it's, uh, they're, they're both special because the high school kind of started everything. The P PBA tell was my first. I mean, that's that's number one. So that was that was really cool. Um, I'd I'd say it was probably the PBA tile for sure. Cause you you go in knowing you're bowling against the best in the world. 
I mean, I was bowling against EJ Tackett in high school. I know. You, you were essentially bowling against. <laughs> you were. You he just turned, didn't he realize. Out okay, so. Yeah, yeah. You, you were. You were bowling a, a major. Break. What a break that was there from <laughs> Michaela, as we're talking. But crowd just went crazy over that. Yes, one. and she needed that. Just an 11-pin match there, and she can actually cut it to a one-pin game here in the ninth frame. And um, you know, you were technically bowling in a major at that point in time in your high school career. Yeah. <laughs> If you look back on oh. like that, I guess so, yeah. A lot of talent in that match back in 2011 and 12. All right, now Michaela, ninth frame. She needs a strike to cut the lead down to one. Comes in light. A little oh. fast. Yes, leaves just the two pin. I love the attitude of the kids, Matt, though, you know, if they don't get the result they want, you, they're still excited. You got to forget you can, about it. You can tell they're enjoying the moment, and that's what you love about the sport of bowling and, and these young kids as they – are really trying to stake their claim here to something that's really significant. Oh, Mason just man, he's going to shoot up right now. He's going to shoot maybe I'm a little biased. But we're probably both a little biased. I mean, he is left on the left side oh. here. Oh, 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 Michaela, she misses the two pin left. Every time it looks like she's coming back. Yes, she that's made a great move. Mistake. Now Keegan can really jump on that opening there from Michaela here in the ninth frame. The boys' side's already decided as Nathan is going to shoot either 240 or 250. Incredible bowling here by him so far. Little end doesn't matter at this point. That's really that's been the worst shot he's yeah, thrown that, all. That's probably one of the, the worst shots he's thrown. He's, he he's been he's, he's been close. Great shots all game. Yeah, here it is, Keegan. Big shot here for her in the ninth. Looks good again. Oh! <laughs> I love the reaction. <laughs> I Serious love it. Serious excitement. Now. Yes, the way it should be. That's what I told the kids when I, you know, right before we took the air, you know, I talked to them about how we're going to, you know, do the format and so forth. And I said, you know what? Take your time and enjoy the moment because this moment goes by so quick. It does. It and does. one game does not take long, does it? It feels like it takes five minutes. That comes in high, and she leaves the... Three six nine ten. That's not an easy spare here. Let's see what she has in secured already here in the tenth. Oh, two. She's got one sixty eight. Oof. She needs to. She needs to make this spare. Me, uh, Michaela can still strike out, Matt, for 173. That missed two pin is really going to haunt her when she looks back at this. If. Big spare. Close. Oh, yeah. great yeah. cover. <laughs> I'm telling you, that, as you guys I, know. I would not want to throw at that. That's that the toughest sure. spare on oh, two, isn't I it? I hate that spare. <laughs> oh, God. She made it look easy. Oh, rips the rack there. Great game by LeVon Hampton. A great showing here this afternoon or this morning by him. Heck of a qualifying run. Had the front nine. Left the 10 pin. Shoots 278 right out of the game. Follows it up with a 230 game. And uh, he was right around the high 190s, I believe, in game three to qualify as a two seed. And now Keegan Trexler will strike in the 10th and Keegan shoots 186. Defense. So Keegan Trexler in the number two seed will advance to take on number one seed. Katie Frazier. And Nathan Smith shoots 246. Nathan is only a freshman. He's only a freshman? This is ninth grade. Oh my goodness. Well, he's about to do something that um, uh, Nick Bowman did a few years ago and win singles as a freshman. So. Uh oh! Somebody hounding you on the uh, on the texting wire. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it can be entertaining. <laughs> All right, Michaela's going to shoot her spare, and she makes it. Nathan Smith advances to the title match with a 246 to 203 victory over uh, Levon Hampton. He'll take on Scotty Kramer the third, the number one seed. I like that name, Scotty. Hmm. Anyway, he'll bowl uh, on the girls' side for the championship will be number two seed Keegan Trexler. She defeats Michaela Morello 
161. 186 to 161. So there's your championship match. Keegan Trexler, Katie Frazier, Nathan Smith, Scotty Kramer the third. We'll be back and decide who's going to win the 2018 Bob Rohrman Subaru Indiana Bowling State Finals singles here on Savage Bowling TV and IndianaHighSchoolBowling.com. We'll be back with the title match right after this short timeout. As the jury reached the verdict, they have your honor. Beyond a reasonable doubt, Bob Roman Subaru has great new car deals. Case dismissed. Lease a 2018 Subaru Outback 2.5i for just $2.59 a month for 36 months with $17.59 due at inception. Buy a Subaru and keep Lafayette driving. Bob Roman Subaru, 1600 South Street Lane, Lafayette. All right, welcome back to the Bob Roman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Finals. This is our championship match for both boys and girls. Built local, buy local, buy Subaru, and keep Indiana driving. Keegan Trexler will lead off for the girls here on lane seven and eight. Scotty Kramer, Nathan Smith, two left-handers battling for the state championship here on lanes nine and 10. Boy, Keegan's lined up, Matt. Yeah, it looks like she's the oldest one in the group too. She's only a junior. Tell Just us a little like bit about uh, Scotty Kramer. Scotty is a sophomore. His second at his sectional, third at his regional, ninth at semi-state to advance to today. It's a high game of 300. It's got to be Matt Sanders is his favorite pro. No, he said uh, Ronnie Russell. Ronnie Man, these Russell. These people are going to learn someday. Ronnie Russell. Well, he is from Muncie. <laughs> that's true. That's so true. he's close to Marion as where as Ronnie's from. not Mark from. Adams. <laughs> Mark Adams. We won't go there. <laughs> he's going to love that one. I know. Your your phone's going to blow up here any comments, minute. thanks to my parents for the traveling and support week to week. No doubt. Parents don't get Definitely. enough credit, they, right? They don't, that's for sure. Scotty Kramer here for the conversion of the bucket. Now, let's quickly talk. We're both left-handed. What's Scotty going to face here now that he's bowling Nathan, who's been throwing urethane all day? Because uh, he's some serious carry down. That is for sure. Um, Read early, pro, pro, not pro, much down late. Yeah, we'll probably have to see how the rest of the match goes. How would you attack that? that one shot? I would try to stay left of him if I could. I, I would at least try to stay left. I would love to have that hold. Tell us a little bit about uh, Katie Frazier. Katie Frazier. Our first look at her. Also a sophomore. Let's see. High game, 266. Yeah, 266. Come on, Series 748 for three games. Oh. Stone eight pin there Stone from eight pin. Nathan Smith. Katie finished first at her sectional, seventh at her regional, and second at her semi-state. Her favorite bowler is Jason Belmonte. All righty. Boy, you know, Jason's a good guy, though. That's for sure. And now her first shot on the left lane comes in a little high, close. leaves a four pin. She's close, close, you're right. And now Nathan Smith you're right there. Come on now. looking to make the spare, and he does. Want to also give some uh, reads here to Huntington University. Wishing good luck to all bowlers and teams participating today in the Indiana State Finals. For more information on the university, visit Huntington.edu. And also, Storm the Bowlers Company. Check out the new drive at StormBowling.com. And now... Spare there for Katie Frazier, and now Nathan Smith up on the left lane working on a spare. And Keegan's over here on the hand dryer, must be not working well on seven and eight. Now, almost a crossover strike leaves just the four pin for Nathan. It's one thing to watch to see if Nathan can uh, sl start slowing it down again. I know he was striking a lot the last game. He sees his ball not strike. It, uh, makes you want to force things and try to get it back. So uh, we'll see how the rest of the game ends up. Seven, Keegan up. misses wide and she's going to wash out. Just the 2-4-10. Now, question for you, Matt. If he starts to struggle, what's his move? You really can't move left and right with the yeah, urethane ball. Not, there's not too many moves. It's more of just telling himself that he needs to take his time and uh, would it be speed? It'd probably be speed, if anything. All right, Keegan gets the 2-4. She opens in the second. And now Scotty Kramer working on a spare. Second frame, lane 10. And 
Oh, another bucket. Another bucket. You wonder if that's from Nathan throwing that urethane the first couple of games. Well, I, I'll say this. He doesn't lack Could in be. ball speed, does he? That, he doesn't. And it's all down lane finish. Yeah. I'm surprised that he's not throwing something with a little bit of surface on it. It looks shiny from here. Yeah, it does. It might, it might not be. I think they said it might have been. I can't remember the ball it was. But it looked shiny while I was down there, too. So. Well, he back to back buckets, and he makes both of them. Now his coaching staff is going to talk to him a little bit here about strategy. And you got to wonder if they're thinking, do we go to something a little bigger than what he's throwing right now? Good spare there from Keegan. Royal Penn Entertainment would like to congratulate all the Indian High School Bowling State finalists. And also Ebonite. Check out the all-new GB3 and Verdict Pearl at Ebonite.com. I'll have to tell you firsthand that the GB3 and Verdict Pearl are pretty good. Good. There you go. What did he do there? Did it look like it maybe he like moved left? Little, that might, might have moved left. It looked like he was a little more inside on that one. And he okay. probably, uh, those two misses left, might have seen that carry down from Nathan. That uh, If he finds that hole just like that shot, I think that's what he's going to have to do. Keep everything in front of him. Now here's Katie Frazier on the right lane. Comes in, shot, flat. Shot. She's right there. Flat 10. And her spot's about all he can ask for with the start that her and Keegan have had. Figure out a little move to get her ball through the pins. And now Nathan Smith back up on the left lane, and now that's a flat seven. And you're right, first really dejected look there from Nathan. And uh, you gotta wonder, is, is the oil been pushed down so much that you know your urethane ball is starting to struggle. Yeah, for sure. In his spot, I, I would definitely be moving left. If anything, you might be able to move left and uh, throw it a little slower. And Nathan makes a spare. Looks like we have a little bit of a scoring correction here for on Katie's score. And now Keegan Trexler. Keegan was ready to go, and it's not her turn yet. Now, Katie back here on the left lane, fourth frame, open in the third. She trails by one, leaves the 6 10. Wanted to make sure that you. Um, uh, Check out Savage Bowling TV, our website. We uh, broadcasting a lot more events. Um, solid strike there by Nathan. A ten pin. We broadcast the Ebonite Lafayette Open every December. Matt has had some success at that event. We're fortunate enough to do the Indiana High School Bowling State Finals, and there's a possibility, or we're in the works, negotiating for possibly broadcasting the Indiana State Masters and Indiana Scratch Classic. We look forward to the possibilities there, bringing you more action. Um, we do have some videos up on our YouTube page, our interview with Jeffrey Mann, uh, Marion University bowling star. And light 10-pin. Boy, the 5-pin fell kind of funny yeah, there, did. didn't it? Like his ball labored again down lane. It looks like he might have gotten a little left into that carry down again. So visit our page there and uh, like us on Facebook and uh, you can check out all the action that we can bring you here. And uh, we hope to do some more uh, with some of the PBA stars and maybe try to get down to Indianapolis and do some work with some of the PBA stuff there too as well. So a lot in the works here for our live stream here at Savage Bowling TV and uh, we appreciate you watching the Indiana High School Bowling State Finals. And now we're in the fourth frame here for Keegan Trexler trying to pick up the 2-5. And she gets it. Able to get it. Don't like those either. Anything that you can chop. Well, fifth frame brought to you by Old National Insurance. For your insurance needs, call Doug Dreher at 812-478-6044. And Motive Bowling. Check out the all-new Venom Shock Pearl at MotiveBowling.com. Oh, terrible break for Scotty Kramer. Comes in high and leaves the 6-8 split. Boy, that's nothing more frustrating than hitting the pocket and paying a penalty. Definitely. Beyond especially, especially when you know you're that close to 
Haas with the spot. That was a great shot by Katie. Well, she has a 10-pin lead through four frames. Scotty takes the six off, leaves the eight. So an open in the fifth. And Nathan Smith can step up here in the fifth frame and take a 24-pin lead. Well, Katie Smith here, Matt, is in a position where she's got to get some strikes going. Got to come back. Mm. Comes in light. This is the head pin right. Leaves the one, two, four. And now Nathan Smith looking to do something that Nicholas Bowman did just a few years ago, win a single state championship as a freshman. I love oh. Looks like he slowed his last two down. Let his ball read a little bit. You know, what's going through Scotty Kramer's mind, knowing that here he's watching Nathan strike and he can't get his ball to finish with really kind of good angle. At that point, you're trying to worry about yourself and getting because Scotty's look obviously hasn't been as good as Nathan's to start this game. So you're trying to worry about what you can do to get your ball back into the pocket and hopefully go to the pins. Can't well, worry about what Nathan's doing. Well, the amazing thing is Katie's only a sophomore. Uh, Keegan's a junior. Nathan's a freshman. And is Scotty only a Scotty's sophomore? A sophomore. Well, so we could see several years of these kids. Definitely. A lot of pressure. A lot of wins, too. Yeah. A lot of young ones. Sophomore, freshman, sophomore. Keegan Trexler, the older statesman and a junior. And Katie Frazier here on the left lane comes in high and Baby leaves. Split. She's just really struggling with in and out. You know, as you know, Matt, from bowling in this house, one in the house is quite a bit different than the other. Definitely, it seems like it. I know when we bowled last weekend at the Indiana Masters, I mean, every pair was uh, was was interesting. Every lane's going to be different, but uh, that's what you have to figure out when you're going to someplace different. Every lane's going to be different. Every end of the house is going to play different. You have to figure that out and even take notes if you come back there next time. That's, that's uh, one yeah. thing mentally I've done before. I, I've been to several places before, and I will remember how certain pairs played and how certain ends of houses played, and I will come back and hopefully use that the next time I come. And Scotty Kramer here on the right lane. Comes in a Almost. little high and leaves a six pin, and he knows he's got to start striking. And now Keegan Trexler, after Katie Frazier opens in the fifth and sixth, can really take a commanding lead here in the sixth frame, working on a strike. Another good one. What a shot there from Keegan Trexler. A lot of family and fans behind us, and you can hear them screaming and yelling. It's a cool scene here at Championship Lanes in Anderson, Indiana for the Bob Orman Subaru Indian High School Bowling State Final. Singles portion championship match for both the boys and girls, and good crowd here on hand, Matt. Definitely. I, uh, I think this is, a, this is a massive crowd, actually. <laughs> I don't know if it was this big when I was here a few years ago. Well, it's exciting, to say the least. That's yeah, for definitely. sure. That's why there's so many people here. Family and friends, everybody supporting. It's awesome. Well, if you're Keegan Trexler right now, Matt, she just needs to fill frames. Stay clean. She's only got a few frames left. It's hard not to think about that. You want to stay aggressive, too. You don't want to let off it at any time. Well, Scotty Kramer, 24-pin deficit. He's got to get striking. Ball change? Ball change. Ooh. Okay. I don't know what that was. Never but know. I don't either, but never know. That, was, that looked a lot better than the other yeah. ones, right? Good adjustment there by his coaching staff and Scotty. And, and now Keegan trying to make her spare, and she makes the... Two six three six ten. Excuse me. Scott Gilmore, Matt Sanders, bringing you the action here for the Bob Roman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Finals. Bought, built local, buy local, buy Subaru, and keep Indiana driving. And now seventh frame here for Katie. Another strike from Nathan Smith. And uh, strike and spare family fund center in Clarksville is wishing all the state finalists the best of luck in this year's championship in Brunswick Bowling. Visit them online at bowlwithbrunswick.com. Now Katie Frazier, much better much shot. Better. Much better. 
You know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And that's what you got to tell yourself, right? Keep throwing those shots. You never know what can happen. You know, I remember going back years ago and in a major um, as Nathan Smith comes in, I'm fortunate just to leave the eighth in, that uh, Chris Barnes bowling Michael Haugen Jr. And Chris Barnes, after five frames, is up by like 30 or 40 pins, maybe even more. And Michael Haugen went, comes back to win the match, and you just never know. You would have thought halfway through the match that Chris Barnes had that locked up. Definitely. That needs to roll up quickly. Ugh, comes in light, leaves a washout. Yeah, the lane can change at any time. Somebody can have the best reaction in the world the first three or four frames, and you think you have nothing. And it, it can change just like that. All right, through eight frames, Nathan Smith has 147 in the seventh with a spare in the eighth. And uh, Scotty Kramer, 103 in the sixth with a strike in the seventh. He can cut the deficit to 14 pins here, Matt, with a strike. Katie Frazier is going to look to try to convert the 1, 2, 8, 10. Oh, oh the messenger. Oh, oh how did the messenger wow, come across crazy. and miss that? Oh, my. It almost looked like the pin of the channel blocked it, the messenger. From I think it did. That's close. Nice cut nice conversion the there. Good spare from Katie Frazier. Good sportsmanship there by Keegan, giving her five on Definitely. the spare. Love to see that. Good spare there from Scotty. All right, Matt. He's at the point where he must strike. All you can do, though, is just throw a good shot, right? Good you can't shot. control you anything else. You have to, have to get the ball there. Uh-oh. Trouble for Keegan. Comes in high, leaves the 4-10. Just what we told, mentioned earlier not to do. She now has a threat of an open frame. Here's Scotty. Oh, beautiful shot. Looks like a good ball change. That seven thing could have fell definitely in the last frame. But. <laughs> you got to love Keegan Drexler. <laughs> she's giving Scotty Kramer five right before she's trying to make her split conversion. You just got to love the sportsmanship here. She's really enjoying <laughs> herself, though. And she shows the field goal symbol. <laughs> oh, you got to. I, I love the innocence and, and just enjoying the moment. That's what. That's what this is all about. Now, Nathan Smith here, right lane. Lane 10. Great shot. Oof. Looks like he's got everything under control again. Nice and slow again. Smooth, letting the ball roll up. Well, he's on a 207 pace. Scotty Kramer can strike out for 203. Ooh, uh oh. What did we say? Things can change. Absolutely. She comes in high and leaves the 3-4-6. Not easy to pick up. You really got to get that three pin over there. Not the most difficult split, but however, but is, in this is, situation, it's, it's very difficult. Yeah. Nathan Smith here, he could pretty much lock this up. Bit. Oh. oh pin comes across. You know, he's fortunate just to leave a six pin. Definitely. That could have been 6-8. 6-8, six, eight. Six, eight, anything. This, got, this could be close. This is close. Oh, oh she cuts oh it right in front of the right in front of the four pin. Here She's got go. 148. Katie if puts a couple of strikes on here. Katie could strike out for 174. That would force have a match. That would force Keegan to double in the tenth. Mm -hmm. Now, now you got to control the breathing, right? Slow the heart rate down and focus on making that shot. Absolutely. Free shot routine, make the shot. Well. Oh, she one. strikes. There's one. Oh, my goodness. Coach is getting pumped up, too. All right. Nathan Smith here needs seven pins to claim the 2018 singles state championship. Uh oh, that's high. Oh, and he does with nine count. 206. Your boy, state champion, is Nathan Smith. Great performance out of him. He made a lot of good shots today. All right, now Katie Frazier. She's got to take her time. First ball in the 10th. Right now, 
a strike here would really force some pressure back on. Uh, could go right. Oh, ooh, pin spins. No. Oh. I'm sure Scotty Kramer is disappointed. Still a great performance by great him. Showing. He only had the one really unfortunate break in the fifth frame where he left the pocket 6-8, Matt. He'd been right there. Definitely. It's probably, probably wondering about that ball change. I know I would in that situation, but you can't, well, can't look back on that. Change in the seventh and it only missed one time. Yeah. So Katie Frazier makes the spare. <laughs> Matt, she could strike and get 154 and still make Keegan decent count mark. Throw a good shot at least, you know. You mm -hmm. never know, right? We always say it's so easy to go five count through the face or four count. It is. That's true. I mean, you just never know what can happen. All right, good count Nine. there. All right, as soon as these both matches have been decided, Ski Anderson will get down lane side for us and get some interviews from the champions here in just a few minutes. And now we've got to decide the girls' match. Keegan Trexler needs seven pins. There's your winner. She throws a high flush. And Keegan Trexler is your 2018 girls' single state champion. And now we have both matches decided and... Hey, Matt, it's been exciting. You know, yeah, we had some been. good matches there. And uh, some really great bowling by both Nathan, Nathan Smith and Keegan Trexler. Definitely. That was a very clutch shot to make. That was a, about as good as you can throw it in that situation. Well, she's going to win with a one. She makes this. We'll shoot 168. Katie Frazier had that hiccup there in the middle, Matt, where she opened in uh, three cons four consecutive frames. And uh, then she finished solid and had a chance to really put some pressure on, on Keegan. Yeah, definitely. Uh, both those girls pulled well. Came down to the very end. Oh. It looked like she was going to give her a run, but Keegan takes home the win. That's right. Keegan Trexler defeats Katie Frazier 168 to 153. Nathan Smith defeats Scotty Kramer the third 206 to 192. We'll take a short break. We're going to come back with some interviews from our lane side host, Ski Anderson, and then we'll have awards presentation right after this short timeout. You're watching the 2018 Subaru, Bob Roman Subaru, Indiana High School Bowling State Finals here on Savage Bowling TV. Has the jury reached the verdict? They have, Your Honor. Beyond a reasonable doubt, Bob Roman Subaru has great new car deals. Haste dismissed. Get a sign and drive lease on Subaru Impreza 2.0i for just $219 a month for 42 months with zero do it inception. Buy a Subaru and keep Lafayette driving. Bob Roman Subaru, 1600 South Creasy Lane, Lafayette. All right, welcome back to the Bob Roman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Finals, and uh, our champions have been crowned. And, uh, Looks like uh, Ski Anderson, Laneside, has both our winners, both Nathan Smith and Keegan Trexler. Ski, take it away. Thank you very much, Scott. Keegan, we've commented all day your excitement and energy. How do you keep all that excitement and energy when you're bowling at such high stakes? Uh, I just got to think about everything that I've learned, and I've came a long way, and I just got to make sure I do it. And you still have a long way to go, because if I'm not mistaken, you're only a, a what, a junior? You're a junior, so you've got one more chance at this next year. Yep. What was, what, was the big, what was the biggest hurdle this year to get you to this point? Uh, my mentality, it changed a lot throughout the year, and it, it feels good to be good. Like, it, you know, is, is that because of coaching? Is that, what was it that changed that, that put you on the right path? Uh, my coach, my dad. <laughs> Dads uh, have that kind of influence, don't they? Congratulations, you are the girls' state champion for the state of Indiana in 2018. Congratulations. Now on my left over here is a young man. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this guy. You're only a freshman. Yeah, that's right. I'm only a freshman. So I got three more years after this. So what were you thinking when the season started? I mean, you must have just been excited to make the team. And now all of a sudden, you're standing here in February, and you're a state champion. Yeah. When I first started, I just knew that you know I was going to be at the bottom. But as the season progressed, I got better. And I was able to compete with some of the higher competition. And I just, 
I just stay positive and make sure I make good quality shots, and that's how I'm standing here right now. Well, you did. You made a lot of good quality shots. Uh, Scotty and, and Matt were talking throughout the broadcast that you played within yourself. You were in the game. You didn't really step out of that zone. You've got a lot of uh, focus, and uh, that's going to suit you well in the rest of your high school career because he's only a freshman, ladies and gentlemen. Your Indiana State High School boy state champion, Nathan Smith. Congratulations. Scott, back to you guys up in the booth. All right. Thanks a lot, uh, Ski. And uh, uh, Nathan Smith turns a semi-state championship into a state championship. And uh, uh, Matt, to wrap things up, it's been an exciting uh broadcast um, we appreciate you taking the time and you're going to stick around and uh, join us for uh, the team portion too as well and but your thoughts here is you know you're a state champion right. yourself how are these kids feeling cloud nine 100 percent they're uh, they, they bowled well all all, all the uh bowled bowl well today but uh th those two are feeling great right now and uh, they should be proud that what they did shows that they uh they're the best in the state so uh it's been awesome. I can't wait to watch the team later today. Well, it's uh, Skis now down lane side with Steve Kunkel. Uh, they're handing out the awards, and we're going to wrap things up here. But, uh, again, uh, your state champions, Nathan Smith and uh, Keegan Trexler on the girls' side. And Nathan Smith only a freshman and Keegan only a junior. We're going to see a lot more from them, aren't we, Matt? For sure, definitely. They've got a bright future ahead of both of them. Maybe they could do what you did, turn a single state championship into a, into a PBA or PWBA there we go. tour title, right? That's the goal. All right, we want to thank you for watching uh, the Bob Warman Subaru Indiana High School Bowling State Championship here, the singles portion of it. Once again, your winners on the boys' side, Nathan Smith, and on the girls' side, Keegan Trexler. We'll be back around 5 o'clock for the Broadcast of the Boys and Girls Team Championships for Matt Sanders and Ski Anderson. Scott Gilmore here. Thanks for watching on Savage Bowling TV. We'll be back at 5 o'clock to find out who's going to win the team title. So long, everyone.